Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie episode number 8 reaction. Alright, the previous episode we are in the cultural festival. Um, the school, uh, like, you know, all, like you know, the class, all the different classes are doing something different. And uh, you goes in, you know, like reaches the school and he sees like, you know, everyone's been given like a little number, which actually means that later on that whole couple game that uh like you know the the student council i think started uh, that was the reason for the number now uh, at first uh, she he goes to the you know his class what his class is doing you know like uh, animal cosplay cafe where you know like shikimori was like a bunny while you was like you know like a what was he lion or something i forgot uh, either way yeah i think lion um you know, like she kind of trips and falls and like you no know, she can only helps him out usual stuff it happens and uh, yeah so after that we get to see that you has duty in the library and here he meets kamiya the person who we met before and we get to see how what type of a connection he and kamiya has and uh, there's like little hints of probably kamiya likes she uh, like you know you that type of hints were been given throughout the whole episode which i'm pretty sure this episode will will get like a confirmation for that uh, because it is going to continue from that episode so you know like multiple section kind of made me realize he probably liked uh, you but you know like probably lost her chance to confess and shikimori got together with him now we also get to know shikimori's like you know the whole story of how shikimori confessed uh, not shikimori but both of them like you know uh, you confessed and how like you know shikimori and you got together and it all started uh for with the whole couple number game and by the end of it you know like it worked out pretty well both of them were able to get the courage to confess and uh, yeah they started dating so that's how they got together which i was always curious about so yeah i got my answer so let's see what happens after that you know like the whole thing with kamiya is happening and later on we see Shikimori wants to exchange the number with you know the whoever person have um use number number 44 and Kamiya apparently has that number so let's see what happens this is episode number eight so yeah I'll bring the subtitles and the time right here sync it to whichever is the preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go What? Oh. Is that like the Cinderella, you know, glass slippers? Yeah, I think so. Oh no, never mind. What the? This is like a the whole fairy tale setting. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she liked. Oh, yeah, there you go. That confirms it. Yep. Oh, she lost her chance. Oh, it is kind of like the Cinderella story. Clock strikes and... Uh, wow, that was an interesting way to start. Hmm. Oh, I, I realize what that hard thing is with 2 1 to written. Like, you know, the previous episode we saw what it was. It was that couple number game.
All right, let's see. Oh boy. Okay. Film of the fair. Okay, so it was a fair. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, she's kind of thinking of putting herself in the. <laughs> Where are you now? Can I ask you a favor? Hmm. Oh. No, not that. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Well, technically, yes, yeah, probably, but not of the reason what you think. She has some different reason. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Hmm, interesting point of view. <laughs> yeah, there he she is. Well, there you go. Yeah. Because, <laughs> well, ah, hmm. uh, this is painful. She kind of, ah. Uh, Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. All right. <laughs> They're also like, yeah, let's just wait here. Oh boy. Well. Yeah. This is really awkward. It is Cinderella. Oh my god. Kind of. Oh. There you go. Let's truck 12. Time's over. Damn. Mm. Oh boy. Ah. Put on her hairband because Oh no, because he was there. I was going to say something else, you know, I was going to say like, she opened her hair because Izumi was there, she likes him, but maybe not.
damn her smile like that fake smile continuously just ah it's so painful to just oh my god Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that smile, that fake plastered smile. <sighs> what? Oh, okay, she didn't want it. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Damn, the bookshelf itself fell down? What? Oh, because this is easy for me. Wow, okay. Hmm. Yeah, the feelings are not there. No, Yuzumi likes her, so. <sighs> yep, okay, I was correct. She unfastens her hair whenever she meets Izumi. Oh my god. Oh. 
Oh boy. Yeah, like, she reminds me a lot of Izumi, like, she herself, her personality, like, um, Kamiya, Kamiya, her personality is so similar to Izumi, in a way, like, not completely same, but there are portions that is similar to him. Hmm. Mm, to go for hair band. Wow, that was... Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, really? Shikamaru's birthday? Hmm. Lam, lam, lam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the mom? Ah. <laughs> Yo, Inu <laughs> Inuyama is dying. <laughs> yeah, what's happening here? Like, <laughs> <laughs> people are going getting extra lucky. Hmm. Ah. It says we lost. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. Makes so much sense. What is she feeding her? What? <laughs> oh my god. Well, she just... Yeah. Hachimusa's face never changes. Nichon. Well, yeah, I lost it, yeah. That's the best excuse, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> mm, yeah. The birthday, yep. The birthday gift. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, so is it this day? Today? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yo, her, her eyes. <laughs> 
Oh. What? What? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but. Yeah, she cannot tell that to him, you know. What is it? Like, like some kind of a ah pendant, okay? Damn. Okay. <laughs> uh. This is a lot more embarrassing than shopping for her birthday present, I think. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Talking about Kamiya. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but human heart. Um, shooting star. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god mm. oh <laughs> yep. Oh, did No, okay. <laughs> Wow, okay. Okay, this was good. <laughs> the first section especially. I was not expecting... Like, you know, Shikimori... Confronting Kamiya. That was an interesting development. I really was not expecting that. Especially the way she handled that. Like... I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, like, you know... <laughs> like, I, I was pretty... I'm pretty sure Shikimori was... Like hundred percent sure that yeah, Kamiya likes uh, Izumi. Otherwise, she wouldn't confront her like that. Like oh, what I was going to say is that like imagine the embarrassment if <laughs> Kamiya was actually not in like in love with Izumi and Shikimori just goes and like oh I think <laughs> that would have been awkward. My God, but yeah, as I said, like I know she was hundred percent sure. Otherwise, she wouldn't have done that. She was sure and that's why she went and talked with her.
like I have to say, I think this is one of the best way I've seen, like you know, an anime handle rejection. Like you know, especially like in one episode, almost everything was cleared up, and we actually come to a okay, that's the end. Uh, actually, come to a like a like a proper valid um end, you could say, like a satisfying. I'm not going to say end because I'm not sure what's going to happen from here onwards. But at least I feel like this was like a proper, like, you know, ending to Kamiya's, like, you know, Kamiya, Kamiya's actually, like, you know, whole f the, the Kamiya's feeling. It came to a proper conclusion for now, at least. And as I said, like, you know, I'm not sure what's going to happen after this. And, but yeah. Anyways, okay, we'll begin this story, uh, not story, sorry, this episode with um, the whole section, the fairy tale section of Kamiya being like a, like, you know, like a person with the glass slippers. And this was like a combination, this, this whole fairy tale thing was like a combination of Cinderella and something else, I'm guessing. And, uh, you know... And we see Izumi come down and Kamiya looking at Izumi, then Shikimori comes in and Izumi goes and like, you know, like just conf probably confesses to her and then like, you know, they, they dance and then the clock strikes at 12, story finished. That's how we start. And it was interesting to see that that was actually a, like that was actually like a, like a thing, you know, like here in this, like, you know, in this anime, that was like a live action thing where you know like students were going to see it and that's you know like Kamiya has also seen it and she is like imagining herself in that story and the story also like has like probably has like a plot which is so similar to her own story and that's why she put these characters and like you know replaced them with herself Izumi and Shikimori and it has it probably has a similar type of a setting you know like just like how Kamiya likes uh, you uh, but you like you know goes and confesses to Shikimori and Shikimori accepts they're like you know living happily ever after while she is just in the sidelines looking at it lost her chance to do anything and uh, yeah like that's that's how it like as far as I as I could gather, I might be wrong here though, but I think Kamiya met Izumi before or got acquainted with Izumi before Izumi got acquainted with Shikimori as far as I could understand by the, the timeline. Like I'm, I'm still not sure about the whole timeline of how everything went, but as far as I couldn't understand, I think that's probably what happened. I'm not sure though. But if, if that's really what, how it happened, that would mean that Kamiya got to know Izumi before, you know, and probably fell in love with him before everything happened, all the Shikimori, you know, like before he got together with Shikimori, it all happened before that. And, you know, like the, 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 the fairy tale that we saw also kind of shows something similar to that, where actually, uh, like, you know, Kamiya is the one who looks at Izumi first. Then in comes Shikimori and then Izumi goes and confesses. So that's what I'm saying, you know, like I'm guessing Kamiya would have had a probably like you know, a lot of a, a better chance if she actually decided to confess as soon as she realized her feelings and not wait. Maybe the outcome would have been different. Who knows? Like, you know, like this, this is like a... This is like life, like, you know, anything can happen, like single change in, like, you know, out thing, something can lead to some very different outcomes. So maybe that would have happened. But yeah, she's realizing that I lost my chance now, you know, like it's, it's over, like, and like, you know, she, she probably understands that Shikimori is such a good person and Izumi is also such a good person that they are definitely staying together from here onwards you know like so there is in no way that she would ever get a chance 
and that's even more heartbreaking for her i think you know like no chance like nothing you can do about it okay so <clears throat> just talking to izumi about the the fairy tale and everything and uh you know like the the message comes in neko nekozaki's message and uh, she kind of i think she kind of glanced at that and kept talking because she wanted to spend more time with like you know obviously izumi and everything and then nekozaki comes in no wait uh, okay the conversation they has here is okay here we go kamiya uh, says that um where is it Okay, they say that for what's important, you don't say it to others. Instead, you keep it to your heart. Which is so interesting, you know, like. This is such an interesting thing. Like, you know, she says like this is like a part of a, like the, the fairy tale. Now, here I'm guessing the important part, the important things, the important words are the feelings. Like, you know, are confessing. So she basically says is that the girl who probably lost you know in the in the fairy tale the girl whose feelings were not uh like you know they can reciprocate it that girl said this you know like important things are something that you should keep close to your heart which i'm guessing kind of has like a double meaning of important feelings means like you know the love you know the feelings of love that that person has towards the main main character you know? He says that you should keep it to your heart and not so say some that to others. Theoretically thinking about it, it does make so much sense, you know, like important things close to your heart. That's how it is so much more important. It carries so much weight. While at the same time, it feels like she is justifying, you know, not justifying, but she's kind of find, trying to find an excuse to how she wasn't able to confess and she lost her chance you know that's why she is like you know trying to find an excuse trying to just make herself feel better by telling that oh you know important things should be kept close to our, my heart that's why i never told my feelings and that's how it's important like it's, it's a weird thing you know like this this statement it makes so much sense but at the same time in reality it doesn't make any sense in reality if you actually keep <laughs> your important thing close to your heart this is what's going to happen you know you're going to lose your chance and that's definitely not how it actually works out in reality if if you feel something for someone go for it you otherwise you, you you're going to miss your chance and later on regret it for the rest of your life so that's reality but in in the storybook you know like in in, in a storybook in a fantasy story or in like a uh like you know like a thing like a fairy tale this this word like you know, this this statement looks so seems so nice some kind of a very romanticized like you know statement like important things should be kept to your heart that's what shows how much important it is while in reality that's not how it works that's why i'm saying like this this whole statement is really interesting you know like i'm pretty sure that's like a quote for this anime not anime but for this uh, live action thing that they watched but in reality it's, it it doesn't work like that you know you should definitely go for it if you have the chance you know don't keep it to yourself go for it which is what izumi and shikimori did and they're dating now and which is one thing that kamiya never did um now either way you know like nekozaki comes in and uh nekozaki and they meet shikimori at first she really did not understand who this oh no she sh did she know Shikimori? Um, wait a minute. No, okay, yeah, yeah. I think she she didn't realize that was Shikimori at the beginning. She's like, okay, like, what can I do for you? And Shikimori is like the person I like, you know, like the that that person's. Uh, no, no. She may probably realize that was Shikimori because Nekozaki was here with them, you know, and she knows that Shikimori is dating Izumi, and Izumi's friend with Nekozaki, all that. So I, I think she probably realized that was Shikimori. Anyways, you know, like, um, Shikimori is like, you know, the person I like, the same, has the same number as yours, can I exchange? And I, I was like, I was so sure that she was going to just give it to her. Because Kamiya, like, you know, looking at her, like, you know, actions and everything, 
she's like she, she's a person like that she would just have like this smile in her face that fake smile and just be like all right fine you know it's okay no problem you know with, with a smiling face wouldn't say anything and uh, yeah and that's what she does she's like yeah this it's good here we go look you know I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it gives the the number and um izumi comes out and izumi is like oh wait what are you doing here and they start blushing again from like you know each other like looking at each other now interesting thing happens here kamiya is like all right you two can go ahead you know like i'm, I'm not going to keep you waiting izumi and izumi is like no you know this is my duty i'm supposed to do it and the subtle change in expression that Kamiya's face goes through at that moment, you know, Shikimui was able to, Shikimui just saw that, and that's when it struck. She realized what is happening. And uh, she was completely not sure. They go in and sit down, and she keeps observing um, Kamiya, the way she's talking to Izumi, and how they're conversing, and her expressions. And I think she probably confirmed that, yeah, she probably likes him. And that's why she decided to give it back, the, the, the number back to her. So, you know, like, I like the, the, the whole scene where it shows that 12 o'clock, it, it reaches 12 o'clock, you know, the whole Cinderella story. While here, you know, as well, time's up, Izumi will need to go, you know, like, and uh, yeah. So, now another thing which i was kind of suspecting but i was not so sure but i'm i'm pretty certain that was why she was doing that you know they show how she just tied up her you know like her hair as soon as izumi goes and uh, like i feel like this is like a way of her showing you know like trying to be her best in front of the person she likes like you know like taking out your hair bands like you know opening your hair in front of the person who you like that that shows that you're trying to appeal to that person or you know like that's that's like a way of you know like i, th I think that's how like you know what, what happens now here we see again like she ties it up i was not completely sure here because she actually goes to the cafe and like you know starts doing the job you know like the the, the cultural festival job that she has you know, the next job that she has to do you know like a, like an act like gonna do the waitress thing so i was not completely sure at first i was like okay it's probably because she was in front of izumi that's why she kept her hair open then then again when she's outside she's put that in but then i was also like wait a minute she's going to the cafe to do her part not part time but <laughs> to do her like you know like duty so maybe that's why she like you know kind of tied her hair you know because also like you know people also tie up their hair when they're going to do like some kind of a, a job like an important job or something you know like they, they kind of tie up their hair i was like okay maybe that's why she tied up her hair maybe not but the scene later on that comes up kind of confirms and i'm pretty sure now you know that she like you know she she opened her hair because of izumi because izumi was there and uh, that's like another way of showing her like you know not affection but kind of trying to appeal to him or something like that as a person anyways okay so she goes in the cafe and like you know like throughout the whole like, you know, thing you know like everyone's just talking about her everyone's like oh look at her so great it's so weird she, like you know she doesn't have a boyfriend oh my god like you know can i talk to her like you know will she even respond to me you know, she's so pretty you know like all these like coming to her hair just coming through her ears and you know with the fake smile plastered on her face she just keeps doing her thing while thinking about izumi and it, it was it was such a such a painful scene you know and she's like oh, I'm, I'm going to leave with with that smile in her face she goes to the rooftop and just stands there and she's like and this is another thing as i said which is kind of frustrating as well Shikimo is really nice, you know, like she herself understands that. That's what makes it even more painful for her, you know, because, you know, like she's like, yeah, it's, it's impossible. Like, you know, like I, I'm in no way suitable enough for Izumi while Shikimori is so much better than me. 
and uh, she thinks about like another she's like ah oh, like i'm going to give up my feeling and all, like, all of that is happening while shikimori comes in and shikimori is like i've come here to give this back to you and she says like i think this un- this counts as unfair like you know getting this from you and she's like no everyone exchanges things it's not unfair and that's when shikimori is like no i'm not talking about that and she realizes what she's implying and you know like we get to that scene again that past scene where you know the library shelf fell down and she can is helping her out and she says you know, izumi says that oh you're so kind and she says like but everyone calls me cool everyone calls me that oh they don't understand what i'm trying to do that makes me cool that's what people says it means like no you're kind and uh, you know like all these like, little scenarios little by little throughout the like you know all, all of the time that she interacted with izumi you know, it, it just stayed with her and that's how she gradually started liking him and it's all coming back now and uh, okay now she asks like how do you understand and is is she was like i saw how you were behaving like you know with her and she and here she thought that she, Izumi, uh, Shikimori is going to be like oh stay away from him you know that's how she thought it was going to go but Shikimori completely did the reverse she's like no like you know I, I think it's like you know like you like the person I like which shows that you're not a bad person and she also says like I feel like taking this like you know like this thing away from me means like you know I'm, I'm kind of trying to snatch it from you you know like the feeling of love and i think that's unfair and uh, that's why she is like she's like if you really don't feel anything when you hand it over to me then it's fine but if i hurt you by making you lie isn't that unfair there you go and uh, yeah that was that was a really like you know like and i i'm i'm, I'm glad that shikimura actually came to give it back to her because i also think that is the correct thing to do because Technically, she did not get that number, you know, she, she came here to, she, to exchange it from her. And as she says, like, if, if, you, it was, if it was really fine with you, if you really was not hurting, it would have been okay to exchange with you. But you're actually lying about your feelings and you're exchanging this thing to me. And that's what I think is unfair about this whole scenario and uh, that's what i it, 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 that's what doesn't fit right with me and then they like you know like talk about this and she's like oh like you know like i'm sorry that i'm giving you so much trouble this and that and uh, yeah and then we see the scene next scene and here we go here was where i was confirmed that she actually like you know takes off her hairband just because izumi is there you know like she she takes off her hairband like kind of tucks in her uh, sh- shirt and just outside the library just waiting you know styling her hair and yeah that that makes me c- confirm that yeah that's that's what she does that was like a and she, she starts crying and talks about how staying with Izumi her his silent kindness is so much comfortable for her because you know like Kami is a person who probably heard, hears a lot of things from a lot of people like you know expectations how she is so cool how she is this stereotypes this and that and um, you know so Izumi since she doesn't he doesn't judge her or like you know put her in that that cook like you know that box of expectation like you know like he doesn't look at her the way everyone looks at her that that makes her calm and like you know peaceful as that's what he says like you know his calm kindness makes me like you know my, makes it so much better for me and yeah she says like i don't know why i can't be satisfied by just being his friend and shikimori t- tears off the like you know thing and because she realizes that Kamiya cannot take that paper back because if Kamiya takes it back, you know, it would mean that she cannot, you know, 
actually give up on her feelings for she, she like you know Izumi, but she she wants to do that, and that's why she says like you know why is it so difficult to just be her friend, his friend? So taking that paper back is not happening because you know Shikimori is Izumi's actual girlfriend, and she cannot take that paper back from her. You know, it's it, that's not going to happen. And uh, that's why she's like, all right, like screw this paper, like you know, no one's getting it, so tears it off. <laughs> and at the same time, if she if, if she keeps it, it also will is going to hurt her as well, you know, because that was technically her, you know, that that number was actually her. So it's a weird scenario. That's why I'm I'm glad she just tore it off. Like, <laughs> yeah, this paper is the source of all the problems. Let's just tear it off and just like you know, just <laughs> let the air take it away, wind blow it away. And no one gets it, and she then gives like you know, hugs him, her, and uh, yeah, and she's like, oh, you're a kind person after all. And I, I, I said this before. I feel like Kamiya's personality is a lot similar to uh, like, you know Izumi as well. Obviously, there are different parts, different sections, but the whole like you know deep down inside the good person thing, the kind person thing, that's so much similar to Izumi. But at the same time, there are differences, as I said, like, you know, like Shikimo, uh, Kamiya has the, always the, the smile plastered, like the fake smile plastered on her, on her face. Which I guess also, uh, Izumi also does, because, you know, most of the time he's so unlucky. So I'm guessing before she, he met Shikimori, he also probably kept on a fake smile just to be like, oh, okay, I'm fine. While in the inside, he was not fine. So if you think of it in that way, that's also similar to Kamiya's. You know, like the way she kind of acts, always like with a mask on, with a fake smile in her face. So yeah, the the personalities are a lot similar. Izumi and Kamiya, both of their personalities, and I think that's probably why. Uh, you know, like Shikimori, I don't know. Shikimori probably felt some kind of a connection to Kamiya because you know, like Izumi is just like this, and that's why she just went and hugged her. And. Uh, Okay, and she's like, oh, you're a kind person after all, so please cherish that feeling of yours. And there you go, you know, it, it ended in such a good way, and Shikimori's like, all right, like, if, if Kamiya's like, oh, you go back to Izumi, she's, he's probably looking for you. Shikimori goes away, and uh, Kamiya's like, ah, she's an amazing girl. I'm glad she's your girlfriend. There you go. Um... I'm hope like you know like she probably came to a conclusion on her own like her feeling she she came to an understanding with her own feeling I don't know what's going to happen from here onwards but yeah and we later see like you know Shikimo is just running down the stairs you know and Kamiya is just there on top while Izumi is waiting underneath and uh, yeah that was good I I I love I love the way they handled this whole scenario and it, it just took one episode for this whole thing to like, kind of resolve. I I don't know if this is going to continue in the future, but at least for now, Kamiya's like you know is okay. And I was really not expecting Shikimori just coming and talking with Kamiya, which was such a unique way. I've never seen any anime do this before. You know, I don't think so. So I I was really surprised. I was like, wow, this is going in a direction that I was never expecting that it was going to go towards. And the way Shikimori handled this was. Phenomenal. I'm like, you know, props to her. Wow. Like, she is actually, like, this shows that she's so confident in her relationship that she isn't hesitating to give that paper back to her. Because she knows, you know, she knows that deep down inside everything will be fine, which is tremendous. The amount of confidence that she has, that's very rare, you know, like, in most of the scenarios, I would have, I would have expected the other girl to be jealous and be just like as as Kamiya said like oh are you here to tell me to stay away or something that's the most of the like, you know scenarios that's how I'm going to expect things to go but Shikimori actually just going confronting her and actually telling her that it's fine you know it's fine to like you know like him because I also like him you know and actually trying to give the heart like you know that number back was I was not expecting that happening any like you know so yeah that was that was a big surprise and i'm glad that it went in this direction this was so unique and wow like this was good i really enjoyed this this section 
the section was amazing anyways um that was that the next part is um izumi trying to find some <laughs> some gift for the first anniversary and uh, one year anniversary and her birthday and uh <laughs> you know later on uh, like you know, she he goes to the like and goes to shop and she, he's embarrassed and everything <laughs> So the after party, you know, after the cultural festival, yeah, they lost. That's why, you know, like they have to pay out their own stuff <laughs> and they get to know that like, like the third year fortune teller thing, like, you know, the, the seniors won. Makes sense that the fortune teller was going so well. Okay. Now here, uh, on the, like, you know, on, on the other hand, Inu, Inuyama, uh, and Nekozaki, they are like, you know, like drinking with, drinking cola with <laughs> um, Izumi while here Hachimitsu and, um, what's her name? Shikimori is there. <laughs> I, I love the fact that Shikimori just casually feeds her. <laughs> uh, with, with her, with her never changing face, Hachimitsu is just stuffing her mouth. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now Neko, Nekozaki comes here and Shikimori here, here they get to know that Shikimori never used the, the thing and they're like, why? And she's like, oh, I lost her, like I lost it. Well, obviously she cannot say that, you know, something is the matter. And here Izumi saw, sees Shikimori and realizes something might be wrong. Anyways, when uh, the whole after party is over, she, Izumi takes Shikimori to the bar and brings out the present, gives it to her and uh, the first anniversary present and the birthday gift so there you go and also izumi uh, shikimori is very happy shikimori like you know opened it it's like a necklace with a heart in it and she's so happy and <laughs> i love how izumi just casually goes and she he's like oh i'm going to put it on you and he puts it on her and he's not embarrassed at all well he was actually freaking out while trying to shop for this thing like what <laughs> this guy <laughs> anyways um he asks her about is something wrong you know like i saw like you know you kind of your behavior was a little bit different so now here the whole scenario comes up where shikimori talks about how he has not changed while izumi says like but my friend tell told me that i have changed which is kamiya obviously and now shikimori is like that is the good part that have changed and here shikimori says that it sometimes scares me like if you change too much even if it's in the good direction you know you might actually you know, get far away from me and uh, that's what scares me and she like you know like and that's why she's like you you stay the way you are and izumi is like, like you know, of course i'm going to do that but at the same time i am also going to change because you're the one who started this change so, you know, I'll become stronger, I'll become better so that I can reassure you and make you trust me. And uh, like, this is such an interesting kind of conversation, like human beings generally are afraid of change, like, you know, any type of change, you know, like the, we, we always try to just, you know, try to be in the same routine, the same scenario, try to just repeat it because we know that that one thing that we do is safe. So trying to make a change is always a bold and risky move. Sometimes it spectacularly fails. Sometimes it works out pretty well. That risk factor is the thing that makes a lot of people just af be afraid of change. And that's why they always keep at the same thing. But at the same time, change is also something that makes human beings progress forward, you know sometimes backward as well but that's part of it so unless and until you change you're going to be stagnant you know like if if people don't try to think of something new if if like you know like if, if someone never try to think that oh well how would it would be like if we could like you know take a little telephone and talk here and the the the, the sound waves is going to go to the other part of the world and we can just talk from here to the other part of the world. If someone never thought of it like that, telephone would have never been invented, you know? And uh, I feel like change always brings so much progress, but at the same time, 
it's something that not all people try to go for because they want a stable and a safe life which is something that they try to cling on to and that's what ism is saying like you know if like you know, i'm definitely going to change because i want to become better and unless and until you change you cannot be better so that's why he says that i am going to change but i'm also going to stay the same in my core you know change as much as you want but in deep down in your core if you stay the same person it's okay and you know and and she, obviously shikimuni here is afraid of change again because she thinks that you know if izumi changes even more there will be a lot of other people in the future as well who will probably understand izumi's charm and get attracted to him and she's fearful of the day that if some a day comes that izumi actually leaves her because of that you know and and you know like she feels like if she herself will not be able to keep izumi and like that that's why he, she's fearing change you know and just like how she realized today that oh kamiya likes him and uh, like that that's why she's afraid of change but izumi is like it's okay and uh, yeah and uh, then she said there you go then she herself says like no matter how kind pretty and attractive the person who shows up might be i'm not going to let you go like that was the thing that was she was fearful of you know like yeah someday if if someone better than her comes will izumi leave her for that person you know that's what she was afraid of and uh, yeah like here one thing i like you know there's like one thing that i really love uh, my, one of my favorite quotes from another anime from the monogatari series there was like one section i, I still remember where the actual quote is like the main character araragi asks the main girl senjo gahara that um will you leave me if someone better than me appears in front of me you and senjo gahara says that yeah definitely i am going to leave you and araragi was like what and senjo gahara said like that's why you must try your best to be the perfect person so that no one better than you, you can ever come in front of me always try to be the best and in the similar way i will also be the, the best for you so that no other person comes in front of you who like you know who is better than me both of us are going to, like you know will try to be the best in front of each other that's how like you know everything will be fine and like that's one of my like my my most favorite quotes of monogatari series this this is such a such an interesting quote and i feel like this this also applies to here as well here as well like you know like like obviously they are going to get better you know as time goes on but in their eyes you know in each other's eyes in shikimori's eyes for izumi and izumi's eyes for shikimori each other should be the top and as long as that continues this relationship will never end it will be unbroken that's that's how like you know a perfect relationship can happen and it will go on so yeah anyways so that's it that was my reaction so thanks for watching this was my reaction to shikimori is not just a cutie episode number eight if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching i will see you guys next week okay i think i i i made a mistake here like you know previous week i said that this episode is not going to delay no i think next week's episode is going to be delayed by one week so i'm probably going to see you guys the week after this when the next episode releases episode 9 so yeah see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day